these is puppets by Arlie, this is Arlie, and this is Puppetry Technique for the Stage. When you think about the body of your puppet, your arm is up inside the puppet. As we said before, imagine that your voice box is the palm of your hand, the thumb is like the lower jaw, now your wrist is your neck, your belly is your forearm, and below your elbow is where the legs should be. So be sure to imagine this little body onto your body. Now sometimes you will be performing outside or when you're on the stage for a long scene, it will get sweaty. And sometimes as puppeteers, we don't build our own puppets. We just have to perform with what we're given. So a thing to watch out for is be sure that the puppet's head is fitting securely to your hand. So a lot of times there'll be a foam uh, brain inside the puppet, or there'll be loopholes that you stick your hand in. But if uh, that's not available, you can always bring scraps of foam to stuff inside of the head of the puppet so that the puppet is secure to the top of your hand. And also, when you get sweaty, another trick is to use parade gloves that have little rubber grips up inside the puppet. And I'll put a link to those down below. So this style of puppetry is not ventriloquism. It's where the puppeteer and the puppet are doing the same thing. So I like to imagine it as a two-headed monster. So when you're reacting, the puppeteer should be reacting so that it doesn't pull focus from the puppet. Next, let's talk about arms. A nice place to put your arms is so that the hands are sitting on the belly. This is a nice neutral pose that looks natural. And then when it's time to gesture, you can use your arm rods. Arm rods take a lot of practice, but I like to hold mine with a four, with an index finger in between the two handles so that when I open, I can bring the arms apart. And then when I close in a fist, they can come back together. So with, again, with the index finger in between, I can open and close. You can also drop an arm and gesture with just one arm rod, but be sure to pick it up again. And just from expert experience, know that the handle is going to swing backwards, so you'll have to reach farther in order to grab it again. Now with arm rods, your handles will always be below, but we can move our hands up above, unlike TV puppetry, in case we need to do a gesture like this, or, hmm, I'm not sure. Also, when you have to pick up props, the easiest way to do it is for your human hand to hold the prop with the puppet hand behind. And this seems to be the easiest way to do it. Is this all we get? Is this all I get? One apple? This is... So, let go of your arm rod. and grab it with your hand. Be sure to use the upstage hand so that the audience can both see the prop and see the puppet holding it. Now with walking, we tend to use the same type of bouncy walk that you often see in TV puppetry. So, and you can also use that depending on what kind of character you have. A wonderful little dance is to do bounce while doing the arms opposite of the body. Yeah!